So Jeff, uh, can you ex explain your thesis in, 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 in 30 seconds? Well, uh, in a nutshell, uh, on one leg, as we say in uh, Jewish life, my view is that there are too many myths about making peace, the peace, so-called peace process in the Middle East, uh, and that in fact there is no peace process and there never will be one until the Arab world comes to terms with Israel's existence. Right now, the Arab world, the Palestinians want to do away with Israel as a Jewish sovereign state. Uh, until they are forced to give up that goal, uh, I don't think that we're ever going to see any kind of genuine peacemaking. Um, and you spoke about um, you don't make peace with your, with your enemies. Um, can you explain that a little bit and what that means in the context of the Middle East conflict? Right. It's often said, well, you make peace with your enemies, after all, you don't make peace with your friends. But it's not really true. You make peace with someone who has agreed to stop being your enemy. But from everything that we know about the Palestinians, you look at Hamas, you look at uh, Fatah, you look at the PLO, you look at the emblems that they put on their websites, you look at what they broadcast through their media, over and over and over again, they make it clear that their goal is to get rid of Israel as a Jewish state. You've you got to have two, just like with the tango. You have to have two to tango, you've got to have at least two to make peace. And right now, as much as Israelis yearn to live in peace, they don't have genuine peacemakers who are willing to do that with them. And until the Palestinians are prepared to give up the idea of wiping out Israel, of destroying Israel as a Jewish state, uh, it's foolish to talk about a peace process. Israel should make it its goal to strengthen itself, to go back to a policy of deterrence, uh, and, and to make it clear once and for all, Israel is here to stay. And if the Palestinians want to have anything to talk about, Palestinian statehood or anything else, first they have to come to terms with the fact that Israel is a permanent fact of life in the Middle East. It's certainly true that sometimes only a Nixon can go to China, or you need to have a democratic president to enact welfare reform. There are times when it's easier sometimes for someone from one side of the spectrum to accomplish something on the other side of the spectrum. But Sharon made a terrible blunder. The disengagement from Gaza wasn't a success. That was a terrible mistake. It led to, apart from the uprooting of between eight and 9,000 Jews who were living in peace, it led to thousands and thousands of rockets being launched against Israel. It led to more terrorism, it led to more death, and eventually it led to uh, the incursion into Gaza, which uh, has caused Israel so much trouble in the world. Uh, so I, 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 I acknowledge that there are times when it takes a Nixon to go to China. But what Israel needs right now isn't a strong right-wing Israeli to make peace. What it needs is somebody on the other side, somebody among the Palestinians, who's prepared to say, yes, Israel has the, right, the same right to exist in the Middle East, as any other country does, uh, and, and we, we renounce forever our goal of, of getting rid of Israel. So if you, if, you, if you want to use the Nixon to China analogy, I would say don't look for it on the Israeli side, look for it among the Palestinians. Great. Well, thank you very much for uh, coming and speaking to AJC here in Los Angeles.